Good afternoon, everyone. Back at it as promised, working on the rollover structure. Um, first thing you have to do is figure out which way these strips go. There's two strips that go inside the rollover bar um, to join the two halves together. And you have to figure out, um, there's a slight angle on the end of them. So, you know, if you look at the rollover structure, it leans backwards. So just figuring out which way those strips go in and then adding a little bit of a curve to them so they'll fit better inside of the rollover structure is the first step. Uh, once you complete that, it's just uh, deburn all the edges and then fitting everything together and then getting it mounted onto the, um, the fuselage for uh, for drilling, you have to, all the holes are number, come number 40 drilled, you have to up drill them to a number 30, and just click O as you go. So that's what you see now. And boy, my arm did get tired working in there, as you can see, I, I broke that uh, step over a couple of days, um, just because the angle of having to hold the drill up and working the shoulder and here we are just deburring all the holes we just final drilled and uh, getting everything ready for final installation. Uh, one thing I will say about this page is to pay very close attention to the wording on uh, this rollover structure. Um, you could literally miss a letter and um, make a mistake like I did <laughs> or it could just be me making a mistake because it's um, but anyways, I'll talk to that in a little bit. And of course, the nonstop text messages, having to respond to that. Uh, then you have to countersink all of the, the outside holes. So those get flush rivets, uh, flush pop rivets, pull rivets. Um, so the, the canopy, the fiberglass will sit uh, flush on that. Um, let's just get it mounted back on the uh, fuselage and starting to rivet and um, here shortly you'll see I realized something yep so this is when I first noticed that I made a pretty uh, big mistake and it always sucks when you get everything riveted up and then realize you made a mistake and have to go back and rework something so I'll talk to that right now Hey, what's up everyone? So, um, here we are, I've hit a point in the process where I get to officially call myself an idiot, uh, putting the rollover structure together, following the plans, and just looked over something, missed a small wording or uh, in one of the steps. And um, so back here, what happened was, back here in the rollover structure we have where the two sides meet, the left and right meet on the back, uh, there's a plate that goes behind here and they clearly show it in the plans and you need to um, match drill and then um, you know later once you get everything uh, riveted up on the side here then you go ahead and rivet in this back plate with this uh, with the switch uh, mount there well completely missed it that on the front this is supposed to go there and I should have noticed it because the drill patterns on the front are the same on the back and I completely I uh, just missed that whole step. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I know, I know. Uh, so now I'll be drilling out um, all of the CS4-4 rivets on the right side. I'll try to see if I can in just insert it from the right side and get it clicoed in and then re-rivet uh, re it up. But first I gotta order more rivets from Vans because uh, I've used up all my CS4-4 rivets and uh, don't have any more to rivet it back together. So um, I know. Just keep building. See y'all soon.